Hello. Welcome once again to Hersco Online, your virtual classroom for understanding tricks and tips in regards to custom foot orthotics, AFOs, ankle gauntlets, and Richie braces. In this portion, we're going to take a look at ankle gauntlets, the generic name being a plastic in leather ankle gauntlet, and they also go by the trade name of the Arizona brace. Historically, these braces were made from molding leather, which were molded over the ankle and the lower leg. And then they were finished with upper or outer leather and a lining leather, and they were used to control motion of the ankle. More recently, thermoplastics have been used as the basis for the control of this AFO. They give excellent control for certain cases, the primary diagnosis being PTTD, or posterior tibial tendon dysfunction. Uh, they're also excellent for severe pes planus, where there's a complete midfoot collapse. Uh, they're great for cases of ankle arthritis, uh, and also for tarsal tunnel. Sometimes they're used in cases where the patient is not a good surgical candidate, but they need to control the motion of the ankle. I see many of these devices, AFOs, Ritchie braces, and ankle gauntlets, along a continuum. The decision to choose a device will depend on several factors, including the patient's activity level, the patient's weight. I find the ankle gauntlets to be best in cases where the patient is heavier and needs more control. The classic design is six to eight inches from the ground up to the, the top edge of the device. Typically, I like to uh, recommend that it goes to the metatarsal heads, perhaps to the sulcus. It can go full length, but then you can run into issues with the fit inside the shoe itself. A lace closure tends to give more control as it really grips the foot and allows the patient to uh, ensure that there's a tight fit. If the patient has conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis and their hands tend to be in very bad shape and they can't use laces, you can go with the Velcro closure, although that tends to be a little more bulky and doesn't offer quite as much control. In choosing the plastic for the ankle gauntlet, you can choose various gauges. The polypropylenes can be very stiff and restricting, and that may be what the doctor has prescribed. However, it's possible to get away with using semi-rigid or even flexible thermoplastics. This device here is quite flexible. It has a polyethylene inner. And even though it will squeeze in my hand, the fact is, cinched around the patient's foot inside a well-fitting and supportive shoe, it will offer considerable control. This particular design also has the heel cut out so that it sits well inside the shoe and doesn't cause a shoe fit issue as the back of the brace pushes against the uh, rear of the shoe counter. Further design enhancements include adding some lining or padding to the device. This device has a padded lining underneath the lining leather. This feels good to the patient and may be necessary in certain cases where their skin is in danger of breakdown. You can also use a plastazote lining. However, it does add to the bulk of the device and that's always a consideration for any AFO. This design is unique also because it has a rear entry. So it has a Velcro flap. The patient can don the brace from the rear and this is being provided with eyelets so that it can be laced up from behind. I find that it's best to go with less rather than more on your prescription. The basic structure of the design will provide plenty of control for the ankle. Adding too many extras such as paddings or padded collars can lead to a situation where you don't get the right fit inside the shoe and if the patient rejects the device Initially, it's very difficult to regain their confidence later in the healing cycle. There's an article on our website that deals specifically with posterior tibial tendon dysfunction that outlines more of the advantages, disadvantages, and the reasons for choosing plastic and leather ankle gauntlets to treat PTTD. Thank you once again for joining us at Hersco Online.